hello, 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 hello to all souls out there. Hello. I just want to bring y'all a word real quick, real, real quick. And the word is bulletproof. The word of today is bulletproof. And what do bulletproof mean? That nothing that anyone take a shot at can complete its mission. It cannot harm you. It cannot get to you. It will bounce off in the mid air. So this is a word. Stop allowing people with demonic spirits that come into your world and allow them whatever they shoot at you or whatever shot they try to take upon your life stop allowing them to affect you stop allowing those causes those demonic causes that they bring upon your life affect you become bulletproof get into the word read the word study the word apply the word do whatever it takes to walk away from that wicked one because if you look at it daily, every day, every second, every hour, I don't care if they're rich nor poor. When it's time for that plug to be pulled, meaning your spirit to leave your body, your shell, I call it your shell. It's just like an egg shell. When you, when you boil an egg and you peel that shell off the egg, you don't eat the shell. I never seen no one eat the shell. The shell is disposable. You got to throw the shell away. The shell is only protection for the inner part of the it of the uh, egg. That's the inside, the yolk, which actually is a, a, a baby chicken. But that shell protects that inside. Our flesh is a shell. It is nothing you should be able, you should be getting so hyper over someone into. Because when we pass away from this earth, when we leave this earth, when we descend away, or when the Father call us home, I'm just put, I'm gonna keep it plain. When we descend back to the Father, which is Ecclesiastes 12:7. We go back to the dirt where we came from. We came from the dirt of the earth. And we and our spirit goes back to the Father where it who gave it, who has given it to us or who gave it to us. We do not take the flesh with us. We take what's inside of us that keeps us working, which is your spirit. Now, if you if you allow Satan to come into your world which we all have we all were fallen nature at some time in our life every one of us man and woman and child it don't matter as long as you got a soul and as long as you are a soul living on this place called earth you have opened up your heart to sin you have gave sin an opportunity to have you in bondage imprison you in some type of way Rather you had a lust demon, rather you had a greed demon, rather you had an ego, de a egotistic demon, rather you were full of pride, manipulation, user, taker, any sin that have imprisoned your spirit. We have been a, a partaker in it some type of way, fornication, adultery any lustful desire you got don't allow satan to imprison you and make you feel like that's what we're supposed to chase no we don't we're supposed to chase after jesus we're supposed to mend the word of god or ponder or ponder the word of god or pine the word of god in our heart so when the bridegroom come which is jesus on judgment day whenever that day come, is going to come nobody know the day the time nor the hour but you want to be ready so you can transform into that new body 
That's why this old body is left behind because it's been so full of sin, so full of abuse, so full of being misused, so full of uh, filthiness, low vibrational things. This, this body that we got has been through so much trauma, so much destruction. It's not meant for our new home. That's why the, the spirit leaves the body and the body goes back to the dust where it came from. And Philippians 3.21, if you turn away from the veil, meaning the wickedness, the wicked one, you will get a new body in the new home. Go in Revelations 22, 21. And it'll tell you about how the home, the new home going to be. This earth is going to pass away, regardless if you believe it or not. Regardless if you hate that word or not. Regardless if you don't believe in God or not. Regardless how much money you got or not. Regardless who you love or not. Regardless of what you're chasing or not. This earth is going to pass away. Your flesh is going to pass away. But your spirit is forever. And a lot of people don't want to realize that. A lot of people just following these unclean spirits. Allowing them to deceive them so that Satan can have a kingdom. It's like a virus. It's contagious. I bring you into my world. I corrupt you. You're doing the will of the father of lies. John 8, 43, 44. Whether you want to hear from anybody or not. If you don't hark into the father's voice, which arts in heaven, and you hark into the father's voice, which arts in darkness, it's reward for either or. You only got it two ways. Either you're going to be a stone cold sinner or you're going to be a full-blown Christian. It's just two ways you got it in this world. You can't have it your way. The day you want to be a Christian, the more you want to be a sinner. That's not how it go. And it never had when. It's only Satan, the prince of the world, had the world blinded by devices. Got you chasing vanity. Got you chasing vain visions, vain glory, vain images. Idling in your heart. Lies, deceit, destruction, corruption. I don't care what no one say. They can tell you they're living their best life. If they're not living their life for the Father, which arts in heaven, and not following his commandments, and following the instructions of the Holy Word, they are not living the best life. Their life is broken. Their life is corrupt. That's why you see majority of them die with drug overdose. That's why you see a lot of people killing over money. That's why you see a lot of people want you want to be praised. They need to feed those demonic spirits that they are housing. But inside, they are dead man bones. Matthew 23. Excuse my lip gloss. I'm going to tell you right now, my lip gloss gets sticky. But they are dead man bones inside. They are crying for help. But they feel like if you can praise them or they can, you can, they can get you to worship them or they can get you to follow them, they are on top of the world. They are not on top of the world because when they get alone by themselves, they are being tormented with demons. That's why you see the world codependent, co having codependency on one another because those demons got the world in a system of vanity. You're chasing the wrong thing. You should be chasing your spirit. Hello, sweetheart. I have a, um, I'm going to tell you, an order for apartment 228. Okay, sweetheart. Thank you. You're supposed to be chasing your spirit that is forever. See, if Satan can get you to chase vanity, meaning money, women, men, 
cars, houses, praying for to be a millionaire, praying for to be a billionaire. He know that that is vanity. He know that that's going to be left behind. But he wants you to forget about the the real value, your real, your real Jew, and that is your spirit. So if he can get you to take your mind off of the real, the real important thing, the real diamond, and get you to chase the fake diamond, meaning the best woman you got, or the best man, or you, the best man you got, the best business owner, or the best um, name, or feeling high in the sky or however y'all do it when y'all carrying demons because you got to feed them because if you don't feed them they're going to eat off of you that's why you see a lot of people in criminal uh um in, in, in incarcerated you see a lot of people commit suicide you see a lot of people have drug overdose you see a lot of people jump from one woman to another woman one man from another uh one man to another woman you see uh, people just get out of relationships and get into one you see people with a thousand women and a thousand men that they they have to sleep with this woman that woman this woman that woman that woman or that man and that man and that y'all know how it go in the world you see a lot of people do a lot of gossiping, hating other people, envy, jealousy. And believe me, getting money, and if you get it fast and get it in the wrong way, you got to pay. The wages of death, I mean the wages of sin is death. You got your reward, death. But if you turn away from the wicked one and follow the Father, which arts in heaven, and go through the pain and the long suffering, guess what? You will have eternal life. You will be rewarded for what you do here on earth. So why are you out here chasing this and chasing that and leaving your spirit wide open to be auctioned? Because Satan is just, he wants what you uh what is valuable to you. And that's your soul. He know that the uh things in the world is not uh valuable. He know that. Because he been in heaven. You haven't. Once upon a time, he been in heaven. That's why he know what can distract you. Because he know you can't see the unseen. That's what it's called. That's why it's called faith. But if you're easy to be persuaded. And easy to be distracted. And don't want to work for the truth. You got so now when judgment day do come or when your plug do get pulled, it's over for you. You ain't in heaven. And a lot of people say, well, they up in heaven. You ain't in heaven. You sleep until judgment day. The father has woken up some true chosen ones, rather the world like it or not. We're here to keep it with truth and glorify our father. And get his name back where it belongs. Because the wicked been speaking real loud for so long. Making the righteous folks feel like they're not worthy. Making people feeling like it's not because they don't have a lot of money. They ain't worthy. Your spirit is worthy. You can turn away from your wicked ways. Just because somebody got a lot of money don't mean they're happy. Just because a person got a lot of cars or houses or property don't mean they're happy. You really actually don't know how they got it. You don't even know what they went through behind the scenes to get it. So stop sitting back looking at others, worshiping others, praising others just because you think that they got it all. They don't got Jesus. They got Satan. And Satan don't prosper. He falls in the end. Just wait and look. Sit back patiently. Stop wanting so much of this vanity thing. Stop wanting so much of it. Worry about your spirit. Stop crying. Stop complaining. Get up and grab the word of God. And mean it. Don't be praying to the Father for your lustful desires. Jesus' blood didn't get shed on this world. Get, didn't get. Jesus didn't die. And put it this way. Jesus didn't die. And allow his blood to hit this land for a house, nor a car. 
nor any type of possessions. He died so we can turn away from this wicked one. He took our iniquities. He took our filthiness so we can have eternal life and enjoy the true home. Not the temporary home. We supposed to be here glorifying the father. Doing the will of the father. Not the will of the dark world. So everyone, blessings, blessings, much love to everyone. I ain't got no prophecies about no homes. I ain't got no prophecies about you're going to be a millionaire tomorrow, the next day, or the next day. That ain't got nothing to do with me. What I'm here for and what I'm chosen to do is to get your spirits where they belong. But, we got a but. But it's your will. It, you got your own free will. The Father give you an option. Rather you want to go into the new home or you want to burn forever. You got an option. He didn't make hell for man. But man seemed to follow the broad road, the easy road, the fame and the fortune and all the laughing and the drugs and, and laying around with a whole bunch of other demonic spirits and loving people for things, but not loving people for the truth or authentically. You're just loving people for a motive. But blessings to each and every one of us, every one of us. And I got to say me too, because I used to be a sinner. And I used to be in that wicked world. And it's no, it's no, it's not healthy for no soul. And it's not something you want to become or you want to hang on to. Because it will destroy you in the end. Blessings.